Hey everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we have... Uh... Well... We have gotten the 7th Star Spirit... Calamar... E... And we have... 99 Star Points. Which means... Well, whatever you think it means, it means we can pick up the Thunder Rage, we can pick up the Snowman Doll, we can ignore this pebble, okay, um, what it means is we can get into this battle and get a level up. What does that mean for you? You decide. To me, it means that I can um, me it means that I can get a level up. Yay. Do I want 45 HP or 35 FP? Probably smart to get the HP. But yeah, now we can go on to some side quests. Trust me, they are going to be annoying, and the one I'm going to do in this episode is going to involve a lot of traveling. Trust me when I say, you will hate the game after you do this mission. Luckily missions are optional, and you don't have to do them. So now that you defeated Junior Trooper, some gold pits have joined the battle. My uh, microphone can pick up a lot more sound now, so that's not good. Because, well, Technically, I'm recording on a new laptop because the other one wasn't mine, so I got a new laptop. And now that I have the new one, it's Windows 8.1 instead of Windows 7. So recording through Movie Maker doesn't work, which sucks because it was the best way to record. But how many points do I have? One hundred sixty-three. Yeah, let's uh, show off for Cheeto. You're quite an enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? I'm just doing a little business of minding my own. Me and my friend have just stumbled upon a great fortune for I have a deal for you. I have something special and it only costs sixty-four coins, it's a bargain. You get a star piece. Yes. Your life shirt. And they have 35, but he'll give you... The third thing he'll give you is a badge, so that's what I wanted to show you. Yeah, he'll give you a star piece and he'll give you a life shirt. Now trust me, that will be helpful later. Because after we're doing the side quest, we're going to be doing the 8th chapter. And that will be very helpful. Now our first side quest... Involves paracarry. You already know what I'm going to be doing if I have paracarry out. 
items, key items. Look at all these letters, and also the mailbag. Now, before we deliver any letters we have, because I've already delivered some, I'm going to return to the post office. I'm going to give them the mail Koopa his mailbag. Yep, he'll give you a star piece. Now, what I find funny is all the stuff I have are from chapter 4. It's already been three chapters since. Dictionary. Oh, wonderful words. Many thanks, Mario. Start piece. Hit yellow, green, red, then blue. And now that you know, you don't need to ever know it again. Because that was a pointless note now. Anyway, what we'll be doing today... not be going to the bad shop, although many times I would love to look at the bad shop. Anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be going on the longest side quest ever. First letter, Merlin and Toad Town. So before we go down the pike for the chain letter, yes I said that right, chain letter, um, we are going to go deliver to some of the uh, better, per se, people. You want to talk to me? Request it. You're Merlin, correct? My name is Parker. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Letter! Another letter, duty delivered. Another letter, duty delivered. Postman's job is never done. That's actually true. Hmm? Who is it from? Hmm, oh, my granddaughter Merlee. So you get a star piece. Next letter. Mayor Penguin in Shiver City. Trust me, we will be delivering that quite soon. Because, uh, or let's go to let's go to um, our items. Traveling to Mighty Mouse, Goompa, Igor. We will be delivering all of these. This this Goompapa letter takes you everywhere, and when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. All right, it must be pretty gloomy around the castle, huh? I'm sure, there are people depending on you. The only way to help is to it. You're going for the correct. I believe I have a letter. I deliver letters. I have one for you. Hang on, I'm on the letter. <laughs> Another letter, duty delivered. Du duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks. Much obliged, Mr. Puzzle Worker. Oh, great news. Fishing is one of my hobbies. Uh, must he? He hangs around the castle garden. Uh, terrible puns. 
musty. First of all, I'm sitting in a pretty nice basement, but the room next to my basement is uh, pretty musty. So you can imagine uh, what my basement looks like. A toad. And these little guys have been around since the original Mario. Thank you, Mario. Save all the poor captures of the castle. You're musty, correct? For you letter. You would never know what this guy's name is unless you, uh, yeah, oh, it's from Goopapa, that old codger. We think alike, he and I. It's been a while. I was just thinking about sending a letter to one of my other friends. Your timing's perfect to send a letter to my friend. Coover. Coover Village. Not Cooper. Coover. love to cut this here and go to the next guy but I want to show you how painful this is so you're just gonna have to watch wrong <laughs> fight Luckily for us, Koopa Village is just a pipe away. Oh, by the way, that house over there? Quite useful. <gasps> Before we deliver this head letter, let's go to Chuck Wismo! Question. What's the name of the leader of the Red and Blue Goomba Bros? Goomba King. I never saw this saw as answered this one before. Oh no, I believe I answered this when I was it was before the filming of The Master. Which by the way I might be filming again. Might That's a shop. Don't eat that. This is Coover. You're Coover, correct. This name's character. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Letter. Another letter duly, deli duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks. You came here at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? Another, oh, fish mail. Not ish mail, fish mail. I'm really starting to hate this game's puns. You know where Fishmail is? He's just a spin and a spin and a spin and a spin and a spin away. And a spin 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 and a backwards spin. And I suck at being funny. Alright, here's Fishmail. I'd love to sail the seven seas fishing for different fish. I just ruined it. <sighs> mm, what's this then? Shiver me timbers is from Curver. Come along, my. I 
knew there was a lever where you a, a, le, a leather a, le, a letter where you had to deliver it back to um, either Musty or Coover. And judging from the looks of things, it's Coover. Oh boy, was it Coover. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate this game after I'm done playing it. That's usually how I feel about a lot of games, really. It's like, hey, there's the game. And why is Chuck Quizmo here again? I thought he left after the last question, but no, he's still here. Usually after I play a game for a while, I hate the game. What color are Luigi's pants? Blue. I don't think any part of it was yellow. And his hat's green. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're gonna... Stop moving. Okay. They always say the same thing. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks. Cool, it's from my pal. Mr. E, who lives in the desert. Now, remember how I said we're going to be delivering some of these letters very soon? You know, some of the ones that aren't the chain letter? Well, Mr. E is in Dry Dry Outpost. On our way out of Dry Dry Outpost, we could, or, or maybe on our way to deliver the letter to Mr. E, we could probably go to the Traveling to Mighty Mouse. Because this is the trees. He's just a couple ticks away. This is the Traveling to Mighty Mouse. Most of these letters, they give you star pieces, except for the chain letter. Trust me, you will love what you get. Alright, anyway, we got a bunch of toads and turbans, but the one we have to look for is the oddball. <laughs> I bet you've actually seen- I haven't seen rain in ages. I know it's a desert, but it should rain once in a while. Mr. E. And here's the funny thing about Mr. E. You see him in the game, but you never talk to him, and you never think twice. Another duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Gee, thanks. Oh, looks like an order from Koopa Village. It's to Misty. Misty? Okay, now here's the funny thing. She's one of the three sisters in front of the dojo. That narrows down to their location. Normally, that's very helpful. And when you hear sisters, you can tell that she's a girl. 
Sounds good to me. Oh, and please, this is the only game where female toads actually have hair instead of mushroom hair. Weird, right? See? That's real hair. They just have the mushroom cap on top. The males don't have hair. Here's the funny thing. Females get mushroom hair later in the game. Anyway, what, what they meant by in front of the dojo, they meant way over here. <laughs> now, I believe Miss T is the yellow one. Yep, the yellow one. If you talk to any of the other two, you won't be able to deliver the letter. So, yeah, they're not all the same color, but they never tell you which one she is. Uh, this is pissing me off. A oh, little Mauser. As in, son of the Mauser. I mean, I know who Nomadi Mouses were, you know, played off of. I know Nomadi Mouses were played off of Mario, too. Which is kind of cool, but. Ah, fuck me. I can know the character, the Nomadi Mice from Mario are based off of Mauser from Mario 2. But to go out and straight up just call one of them Little Mauser, that just makes me... Yep, that is indeed Mauser's son, because Mauser was totally purple. You're the owner of the shop, correct? Your name's Park Carry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Letter. Here. <laughs> Take it. Another letter duly delivered and postman's job is never done. I said it right. Thanks for so Regular is good deal. A boo called Frankie. Alright, remember how I said you would need to find Frankie? Or, once again, how I said it's gonna be really easy to deliver some of these other letters? Well, what I meant by that is Boo's Mansion is just down this hole. Down this hallway. There's your, there's your ticket to Boo's Mansion. Um, by the way, all of the boos are named after, like... Oh, this is Frankie. Yep, so this is Frankie. Like, all the boos are named after, like, cliche horror characters, like Igor, Frankenstein, this one's Frankie. So this is Frankie. It's finally in, I know that Jesus went from all the world. Dane T. Nah. There's a toad. There's a toad in ch there's a toad child in Toad Town named Dane T. Please deliver it to him. He always seems to be playing by the station with his pals. He must like trains. Thanks, a boo. Now you're going to love. Oh, and by the way, the music has gotten a lot cheerier since the uh... and there goes the door. Yeah, the music has gotten a lot cheerier since we've been here last. This is Igor.
Really, he's just there. <laughs> Where did this order from Gusty Gulch? That's right around the corner. They can't just come here. From Booty, you with a smile. 